Hey, what's up? It's Comic95 the Savior. So, um, I'm sorry for my late update. I did hear back from both Nova and Gabba. Nova, which actually offered me the job. So before I get started on Gabba, I will read my email that I got for my job offer from Nova. I have my phone right here with me. So, um, anyway, it reads, Dear Miss Sharon Bowen, thank you for your interest in our company and for taking the time to attend your interview. I am pleased to inform you that your application has been successful and we would like to offer you a teaching position. According to your interview report, I understand that you prefer Osaka and Kyoto. I would like to know when you would move, when you will move to Kansai from Tokyo. If you have secured your accommodation, please let me know the closest station to your apartment. I have three PDF files attached with the email. Please check and let me know if you can't open them. Please feel free to contact me if there are any questions. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you. Sincerely, Lee Yin. So, or Yin, I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce it, Lee Yin. But um, anyway, I did reply back and I asked a few questions, which I will give my email for that to. So, in way, I basically asked about visa sponsorship. Um, I explained that I'm currently living in Japan once again and that I would obviously have a different process. If you're in Japan, you get a visa to enter the country, not once you're already in the country. So instead, what you do is you update your status of residency. So I explained that, you know, that's what I need to do. If they can walk me through the steps to do that. I asked about housing. Um, I mentioned that I currently live in Japan, as I stated above, but I would be interested in accommodation that NOVA provides. Would it be possible to have my housing in Kansai arranged through you still? And I also asked about airfare. Since I'm living in Japan, can I still have my airfare expenses paid for by Nova so that I can move to Kansai? Um, I messaged her this. They did not reply back. I waited um, about maybe five or four days. And since I didn't get a reply and I'm trying to get a move on with this so I can decide what I will be doing, um, I did end up calling and they were very nice. I was able to speak to Lee instantly. She was a very sweet woman. I think she's Chinese based off of the name, but she was super, super nice and had a cute accent. Um, anyway, she told me that she would email me back the same day, apologize, and said she was busy. Um, I'm sorry, I actually gave her name. I didn't even give my interviewer's name, which I don't really remember. I think his name was Michael, but now you know. Um, anyway, so yeah, she did reply back and Unfortunately, just as I suspected, because I do live in Japan, I don't get any of those benefits. They will not pay for my airfare and they will not um, help me arrange housing, which really sucks because it's significantly cheaper to help someone that lives in Japan versus paying all of that money to fly someone out to Japan um, from America or to help them arrange housing. I'm already here. I'm already comfortable. I know my way around. I can speak some Japanese. Um, I can understand and write some too. I would think all of those things like, oh, it's just $150. But I guess in their mind, it's like, well, it's just $150. Why can't you pay for it? So now I'm kind of stuck between do I want to make the big leap and move there, not having a job, no more private students and start all over and have to move once again. I just recently moved into this private room um, here at Kabucho no Basha, I believe. Sorry for butchering the name again, but I just recently moved here to Nakano. So it looks like I'll probably be moving again in March. Um, in order to work with Nova. Um, I liked Nova over GABA, which is why I decided on Nova. I didn't even pursue GABA. I told you that I called and I did a pre-interview with GABA, but when GABA emailed me back, they had all of these requirements. They wanted like letters of recommendation and all this type of stuff that you had to have. And I barely got letters of recommendation to go to college here. And so <clears throat> I feel like it would just be too much to try to go through all of that just for a crappy, um, just for a semi-crappy, um, you know, language school, a Kiowa position. And if this were something more serious, I would probably consider it, but I decided to just let it go for this time, and I am not going to pursue my application. They gave me one week, so my deadline would have been two-day Friday. By the way, it took them just under 48 hours, just as Michael had promised, for them to get back to me. They messaged me, I believe, on Friday evening or Saturday morning, um, telling me that, you know, congratulations on my application um again the staff at nova overall seem to be really nice and genuine and they really just want to have someone fulfill this position i think it's the easiest option to go through if you're looking for visa sponsorship um, in japan and again don't have ridiculous expectations 
If you're going through these companies, more than likely you're doing this for the visa, you want a quick and easy way to begin working and to be stabilized here in Japan. If you're looking to get rich, any job you have in Japan, you're not going to find that here. Um, even for salary, you know, Japanese men, pay here is very low for things that we would consider high skill. So even being something like an engineer, you might get paid maybe 10,000 more, maybe 5,000 more than, you know, another career similar to that. But when you think about the payments in America, they start like double or significantly higher. The average person here, I think, makes somewhere between about thirty-five, forty thousand dollars and that's nothing. So that's that. Um, GABA seemed really nice. I noticed that since I filled out these applications and especially after I started talking to them more, I started noticing um, their advertisements on trains and just out in public that I'd never seen before. And I said initially, like, oh, I see nothing for Nova. And I know that Nova recently went through a bankruptcy, but sure enough, yesterday when I was on the train, I saw an advertisement for them directly on the train door, on the window. So anyway, that's that. Um, they're really nice, super easy. Um, don't stress about the interview, it's literally very straightforward. You apply one day, in less than 24 hours, they get back to you trying to arrange a Skype interview after you submit pictures of like your ID, etc. And you're on your way, they'll get back to you in 24 to 48 hours, just like they said. Um, again, if they don't reply back to your email, like if you do have questions, be sure to message them. My case was, I mean, be sure to call them. My case was a little bit different because I'm living here in Japan, but if you don't, and that's why I asked in the email, they do um, <clears throat> reimburse you for your airfare, excuse me, um, and they will also help you with accommodation. To my understanding, it sounds like they'll charge you $100 a month and kind of provide you with, you know, a cheap little apartment, or at least they'll help you find accommodation. I'm not going to have too much of a problem with that because now that I'm no longer a student, any place that I rent to foreigners will more than likely be willing to rent to me. So that's very helpful, um, but of course it would have been much easier if I could just go through them. I know that there's share houses and other agencies um, in Kyoto, but for the amount that they charge, even cheapy places like Sakura House, it's really not worth it. Um, the guy that I'm seeing, his apartment costs him less than $400 a month, and it's the second biggest apartment I've seen since I've been in Japan. Why would I pay $100 more to be in a shared house and for that much have, you know, bunk mates or if I pay you know ten twenty dollars more have my own room but still I could have an entire apartment so a lot to consider if it's worth it to pay the upfront cost for the you know longevity to have more space or if you should just you know do what you have to do to get there again a ticket from here to there is only about hundred and fifty dollars about one to two hundred dollars less than what I paid to go from Chicago to New York um, but again my guy <laughs> He thinks that's way too much and recommends that I use Jetstar. I'm probably going to stick with ANA &A because I trust them more and they have more flights. Um, and when I looked at Jetstar, it was only like $20 less. I don't really care about saving 20 bucks that much. I'd rather go with a better, more trusted company. I'm personally a huge fan of American Airlines, but obviously they don't offer domestic flights within Japan, or at least not to my knowledge. So that's that, just giving you a quick little update on what they said, how it went. Um, I wish you good luck in your interview process. Again, don't give up if you did not get the job. I would definitely go and pursue GABA as well. I can't give you a whole lot of information about them because as I said, I decided not to pursue my process with them. Um, but if you are considering them, you will have to do a pre-interview in which they basically just go over your application and after that they will require you to send them um, scan documents of your bachelor's degree um, if you have one. Sorry, this kid's playing outside. <laughs> um, a scan document of that, I think it was two letters of recommendation. Actually, let me just look at my phone because I did this for GABA. Let me quickly try to do that if I can find it. Okay, so here it is. Thank you for your interest in becoming an English instructor at GABA Corporation. Our instructor recruiting team will review the information you have submitted and will be contacting you via email within 10 business days. Your patience is greatly appreciated. In the meantime, please continue to explore our extensive website to learn more about GABA Corporation. So this was the first initial email that they sent me. And then Samuel, the guy that I spoke to, he got back to me. Dear Sharon, thank you for your interest in GABA Corporation. We hope that this is your first step in becoming a GABA instructor. Before proceeding, please click here. There's a link. In order to download the necessary documents for your application from Google Drive. 
sorry. <laughs> the link should give you access to a recruitment form, entrusted contract, and handling policy. We have included a couple of website links to help you learn more about GABA and the recruitment process. Please take the time to read the website to find out more about the, instruct about the instructor position with GABA. <laughs> so this is what's required. Completed recruitment form, a cover letter, updated resume, must be up to date and include your starting end dates, month, year for all activity listed. Resumes copied and pasted from the Pot website will not be accepted. Recent photo taken within six months only. JPG, JPEG, um, gift files will be accepted. Two letters of recommendation, see here for details. Photocopy of passport photo and signature page pages. Photocopy of residence card. Photocopy of your university diploma certificate. Degree verification. Signed letters of understanding. So these are all of the requirements for GABA, which you can see is very lengthy. Um, I did not find it necessary or I also was not willing to go through this. Normally I wouldn't care like in America or something, but I know how the ropes work here in Japan because I live here and I've worked here for a while. Um, I know that jobs don't normally require all of this and they're basically abusing the fact that since they're sponsoring your visa, they can, re excuse me, <laughs> they can require more from you, which makes sense. But like I said, it's just not something that I'm willing to do. I've literally gone places here where I just walked in, they saw me, thought I was cute, like, oh, you speak English natively? Hired. That simple. So it's like why I go through all of this stuff. But again, I'm not gonna bash GABA. If you're looking for a job, I still recommend them. It's just that for me, it's too time consuming to go through all of this. So right now I'm just saving, getting my money together. So I'll be able to move. I have a lot of stuff that I'm going to have to box and pack up um, in order for me to get out of here in time. I'm probably going to leave between the 13th and 15th of March. And I plan to obviously make videos and updates there. So I have a lot of stuff and plans going on. I'm trying to upload at least two or three videos every week. I would like to make that eventually a daily thing, but it's not going to happen right now. And hopefully when my American buddy comes back, we'll make videos together, which will be super fun. So anyway, long story short, that's off subject. I got the job. I hope you do too. Again, stay calm. All the information you need is on Glassdoor. It's completely true. They're going to ask those questions. I highly recommend that you are familiar with the website, the dress code, and the scheduling because they will ask that and they will put you on the spot and have you tell them, what do you know about Nova? And that's gonna be a test to see, you know, how well you've been paying attention or whatever, or how much you really care about this job. So that, and then of course, have a good reason and why you want to live in Japan, why Japan? And don't think that just because you live here that you're gonna be excluded from this because I live here and they know that and they still ask me the same question. So be prepared. Um, also make sure when you're giving your lesson that you remember to greet your imaginary student and that you are respectful and that you speak slowly and use, you know, basic feel good language stuff that's easy to comprehend and talk about. Um, when you're talking to Japanese people, even though this is a fake lesson, they love to hear what you like and or dislike about their country. So saying things that you can't eat or things that you don't eat. So like if you say that you like sushi, like oh, you like sushi, like you can eat sushi. Oh, I heard the foreigners don't like sushi. They can't eat raw meat. Or saying that you do like natto, like something like that. But for me, I like sushi, but I can't eat natto. I'll try to one day for the sake of my boyfriend, but it's just not my thing. So little things like that. Or you can talk about stereotypical stuff. I like hamburgers. So simple, short, brief conversation, don't use deep scientific words um, to help you with the borrow versus, um, I forget what it was, borrow versus lend is, as I said, I think in the first video, lend, I give you, borrow, you know, you give me type, is that the way around? No. <laughs> lend, I give you, borrow, you take from me. So I think I said that right. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Basically, don't sweat too much about it. If you try to get the point across right, there's no real right or wrong answer. They'll just tell you their two cents on what they think you should have done to make your process go better. I highly recommend Nova. It's a very fast, easy process. Um, you'll probably really appreciate this if you're in America. I'm not as excited as I probably should be because I'm already in Japan, so I'm not really too stressed or worried about um, visa situations. But for someone who's trying to enter the country, this is definitely um, a great way to do so. So I'm done with my long ranty video. That is that. I'm not pursuing GABA anymore. I'm only going after Nova. I will let you know how my visa application process goes in my next part to my um, whole process and getting started. And then if my application is successful upon starting to work, 
I will also update you on, you know, what it was like working there my first week, first day, or orientation, whatever ends up happening. So again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!